Hey guys, I doing? It's here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I'm going to give you my honest opinion on a course I a course I just took this year. I took Simply Cyber 101, Cyber 101 from Gerald, Gerald Alger. You know, he has Simply Cyber channel. Uh, I want to give you my honest opinion on his course and I'm going to show you what it covers a little bit and I'll give you my opinion on, on it. Obviously, if you need to make sure you know what to do, right? Comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. So today I want to go over his course. I did the whole course. I completed the certificate. Um, it was a very good learning experience. Um, he does go over fundamentals like operating systems, networking, command line, using um, command prompt, using the Linux terminal. Um, they do have a, a, a hands-on module section for Try Hack Me um, and a few other things. But I want to share my screen and show you what they actually go over, what they cover. So let me share my screen. So here you can see, uh, I completed it hundred percent. And if you go to the information, we're gonna scroll from the beginning, right? Um, this is the web. This is, uh, the academic website. So like this, uh, cybersecurity one hundred one. Um, you get access by clicking on it. So here, we have some reviews on it. So. Labs are fun and easy to follow. Um, this this guy here, Daniel L. Piper, this is this is one of the students that I that I work with. Um, he actually was interviewing for a job the, the last few weeks. I got I got to reach out to him, but I know he was interviewing for a job and they hired him as an in, as an intern. So he's trying to be a full time employee there. Um, you guys got to keep in mind that I teach for a community college, so um, that's yeah. So there's some of the reviews. Um, here says, welcome to Cyber 101, meet your professor, course ex expectation schedule, lab environment, how to ace the course, uh, different roles in cybersecurity. I like this one because it goes over like SOC, red team, blue team, incident response, cloud security, things like that. Um, and then a lot of these have like quizzes on it. Like this is a quiz section right here. Um, and he has networking here, operating systems, cloud software. There's a lab that I talked about that he, he talked about the terminal and the command line. And there's another like exam section right here. Um, and then this is um, threat actors, end users. Oh, I have to understand how to work with end users, customer service. You have to know, you have to understand that you cannot be a gatekeeper when it comes to like um, blocking certain things that they're trying to do for their job, or there's like whitelisting a website, blacklisting a website, uh, black, um, blocking uh, a specific application for a job and you can't say no to them you have to say yes to them if you're the, if you're like the gatekeeper and you say no to everything they're going to go to somebody else so he talks about that in this section i remember um in this section i remember as well it talks about phishing social engineering um talks about cyber kill chain how to how to how to do lateral movement attacks you know just trying to be a little trying to be quiet about lateral movement attacks uh we use nmap here i remember this one and uh, yeah, this is just weaponizing scams for the internet, uh, phishing toolkit. And then this is like a, a denial of service attack. Was it denial of service attack? How is that? How does that work? What's DDoS? Things like that. Um, history of malware. What is malware? Common malware. And then we we set up and deploy malware on purpose in this lab. So a really long lab environment. And then here it talks about firewall, um, EDR, like. Um, using like um, Defender EDR and then mobile device management, which is what I got over before. Um, Defender and tag, and then email security gateway and attack, attack emulation. And then we configure a firewall here. And we have a SIM solution. Uh, here he uses something else here. Here, um, SIM solution, like, like I use Microsoft Sentinel, he uses some other type of SIM solution. Um, yeah, and then GRC, which is his favorite stuff. <laughs> He starts going over GRC over here. He goes a little crazy with it, but he has fun with it too. Yeah, and then vulnerabilities. And you you do uh it talks about uh military cyber, uh cybersecurity. And uh, what I liked about his, this section was he talks about LinkedIn branding, how to build a LinkedIn profile from scratch, how to how to how to network professionally, and he talks about the conferences like B size, Black Hat, DEF CON. And he, in this lab environment, he he shows how to set up a LinkedIn profile from scratch if you're brand new to IT. 
And then these are knowledge gaps, and he gives you some free resources as well. And this is Gerald right here. And, you know, you know Gerald from Simply Cyber, um, content creator on YouTube. Um, the course is six months with purchase. Course is designed to be completed in three months. And you got to have a, a, an account for Try Hack Me for 14 months. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Um, and the, I believe the course is $249. Uh, you get access to all this stuff. Uh, yeah, and that's it. And then as you can see here, I did it already. So if you go to certificate, I started this this year and I completed it this year. And that is my credits. My credits here and I did all of it already. So I wanted to make a video on this because I have not made a video on this. I know people have been asking me about it. And then if you ever feel like you, you want to give out ideas to Jiro about his course, you go over here and tell him. Like, I, I actually told him, oh, the students are taking it right now. They love it. So we're going to start Security Plus next. So, yeah, I'll stop sharing. Yeah, so that's it for me. Yeah, so I, I took this course. It's pretty good. Um, the only thing I the only thing I would have wanted, wanted to see is more blue team labs, which I didn't have a lot of blue team labs. Um, and probably just more labs. It's just me, like more labs. He had a lab per module. I wish I would like to see a full blown lab setting up, like a full blown lab setting up a a a a, a, a sim solution from scratch, setting up an uh, incident response from scratch, how to set up alerts, setting up a playbook from like certain blue team stuff. I would love to see, but he does go over SOC two type two stuff, which is what I do. He does go over PCI. Which is what I do. He goes. He does go over DLP, which is stuff that I do as well. So, a lot of interesting stuff here. Um, would I recommend this for someone brand new? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good of course. Uh, a lot of good information, and you get you get some C CEU credits as well. So you know, can't complain about that. So yeah, that's it for me. Uh, it's, it's um, I'm just giving my opinion on the course. Uh, for me, it's pretty good. Um. For someone brand new, it's a lot of good information in there. Definitely would 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 you should definitely look at it and take it. If you you have the money for it, then yeah, I would definitely recommend. It. Is it gonna help you get a job? Probably not, but it's probably not, but it's good information to have. If it'll give you a rough idea of what you do in cybersecurity, because he does go over a little bit of everything. So then yeah, is this for me? Is this not for me? Based on that, you can say, oh yeah, this may this may be for me. All right. Hopefully that answers your question, guys. I hope you guys have a good day. And this is just my review, and, and I'll see you guys later. Take care. Peace.